Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I want to talk a bit about Panel View Plus 7 Performance and Standard. Uh, there's, the difference between those two devices are a bit subtle. It's not that great, but uh, you have to understand the difference before you design your control system there. So to start off with, I want to start off with the software. I have a Factory Talk View ME Edition here. So if I double click the project settings here, this application has been designed or targeted to run on Panel View Plus 7 performance. But what I have on hand is uh, Panel View Plus 7 Standard Edition. So I'm just going to show you uh, what the error looks like when you try to upload a MER file or a runtime file into a Panel View Plus 7 Standard uh, if, when, when your MER file is actually performance. So uh, in order to create a Runtime file, you'll go to application, create runtime, and then you assign whatever file name you want. So I've already done that. So once you do that, you have to transfer the application using transfer utility and point to the application that you want to transfer and then point to the particular panel view. This is my panel view on my network. You can see it's written as standard too. So I'm going to download this guy. So once the download is complete, I'm going to VNC into my panel view and I'm going to try loading that application. So this is the one I just loaded. Click yes to set up the RS link enterprise configuration. And this is the error message you will get. It says this terminal can only run HMI application MERS, which is runtime and uh, runtime application designed for panel view plus compact or panel view plus seven standard terminal. Please load the appropriate HMI application. So yeah, you cannot run a runtime application that's designed or compiled for performance on a standard, I guess on the panel view plus seven standard. So um, if for some weird reason, if your RS uh, links doesn't show standard, it just shows you panel view plus. Another way to determine whether you have a panel view plus or not, uh, you can actually do it. So from this configuration menu here, you exit, it will bring you to a desktop, Windows CE desktop here. Click on Start, Settings, Control Panel, and then click on Systems, and go Device Name. You can see the de uh, device description, it's a Rockwell Automation and all the fancy stuff. So anything that ends with S is a standard. For performance, this will be P. Okay. So I just want to bring uh, the panel view help here. So this is uh, Rockwell's website for you to select panel view that you want. So this is a panel view plus standard. I'm going to clear my selection here. So you go by selecting, say I want a 15 inch a color display. And you can see anything that ends with S. Uh, is your is your standard type? Let me try to bring everything together here. Doesn't want to collaborate, so anyway, uh, so I'm gonna click here. Try, yeah. Some of the pages are missing. Anyway, uh, you can see anything that ends with S is a standard edition. So I'm just going to expand this here. Uh, if you're wondering what the performance looks like, that click on this guy here. See, I want a touch screen, 15 inch, and a color. You can see anything that ends with P, those are performance. There's a quick way to tell whether it's a performance or standard by looking at your device name. I'm going to close all this, and I'm going to go back to my configuration menu here. Let's talk about differences between performance and standard. So this application I, which you're just looking at right now is uh, developed for performance. So I've got uh, 138 displays. Uh, if you want to design in standard, that's a maximum cap of 100 displays that you can build. Let me show you what I mean by that. So in order to change this application into a standard, you have to double click on project settings. It comes up with a pop-up here. 
uh, here. Like I said, it's, it's designed for standard and performance. So if you try to change this application into a standard and hit OK, I mean, the, the resolution is a bit off, but nevertheless, for the sake of demonstration, hit OK. It gives you a warning saying that you're unable to make that change because the standard only supports up to 100 displays, while this application, I have 138. So this is one of the critical things you have to know. I'm going to click OK and cancel. Let's look at physical appearance. So in terms of physical appearance, a performance, a Panel View Plus 7 performance looks like that. It's got this extra module uh, protruding out on, this, on, the, on, on the back. But for a standard, it's just simply like that. There's nothing protruding out. And a couple of uh, differences is that uh, for, for a panel view plus seven, you, you can have up to three Ethernet uh, port, 10100 port, depending on what model you choose. But on the, on the panel view plus seven performance, you have two Ethernet port. Well, on the flip side, you have uh, USB-A ports. There's two of them and the B port. As for the other side, there's none. I don't see any. Sorry, it's on the other side, not this side. Also on the other side. There's only one USB-A port, not B. Okay. Uh, another thing is that the, I don't use this very often. They have an audio jack here as well. Uh, but the PanelView Plus standard, they don't have any audio jack. A couple other differences uh, is in memories. If I scroll down, if I can find it here. So this is panel view plus seven standard. It's got uh, 512 megabyte RAM and a 512 uh, megabyte storage. On the flip side for a panel view plus uh, performance, you have one gigabyte RAM and 152 megabyte storage. So it's got slightly bigger space. And I contacted uh, Ellen Bradley Tech Connect, and they did tell me that uh, with the, the difference between those two, there's a difference in firmware as well. That's why when you try to load the runtime application, it does not work. Nevertheless, both of those PanelView Plus 7 standard and PanelView Plus 7 performance looks exactly the same from the front, barring that if you don't order the one with a key in the front. But anyway, so, uh, so these, are, these are the difference that you have to be aware of. And the key thing is that uh, uh, the application that's created, runtime application that's created on for the PanelView Plus 7 performance cannot run on the PanelView Plus 7 uh, standard edition, uh, standard terminal there. Anyway, I hope this uh, quick tutorial will help you. Nevertheless, have a good day. Bye.